What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the Vegas Hub and the Vegas Hub Explorer because this feature was actually introduced in Vegas Pro 19 last year, but we never really went into depth on what it actually offers. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit that like button down below for more. Subscribe if you're new and I would say let's get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so we have Vegas Pro 20 open and as you can see right here, we have two buttons that say Vegas Hub and the Hub Explorer. So if you click on Vegas Hub right here, as you can see, we have Vegas content, we have expansion packs, we have social media, we have example project, what's new, how to videos, community, and we have obviously my profile. All right, so if you click on the first tab, Vegas content, as you notice, we have a lot of really, really cool stock footage that we can use. So right here, we also have a search bar. So let's say that you want to have like stock footage from, let's say a field. If you type that in, it's actually going to search for any kind of matching content. As you notice right here, we have all kinds of clips. So if you click on the clip right here, we also have a preview to make sure that it is actually usable before we unnecessarily download it. So if it's usable right here, we have the download button and then we can also choose the quality. So we're going to just pick the 1080p for now and then it's going to download that right here as you notice and then we can just go and drag that into our timeline. It is actually downloading straight into our downloads folder on Windows. So you don't have to go back somewhere right here. You just want to open up your downloads folder on Windows, on your computer, on your C drive, and then you can drag in that clip into your timeline and then you can proceed from there. But obviously the field was just an example because right here we have architecture, we have all kinds of different stock footage like adventurous, we have different videos, we have mountains. So if you click on that, obviously it's going to load every single clip that they have. There's actually 1.5 million clips for you guys to check out, no matter what kind of stock footage that you need. So that's really, really cool. So if you're gonna go back for a second, we can actually also sort this on audio. And by the way, guys, I have something really, really cool, a really cool announcement, which is not included in Vegas Hub. So check this out. So that's right guys, we teamed up with Action VFX once again to promote this Black Friday sale over 55% off on the whole library. You guys know how awesome Action VFX is, they always provide you with the best material. All the info is down in the description, it is for a limited time only so don't sleep on these deals and let's continue with the video. So we also have music, which is really, really nice because obviously if you've been using, let's say no copyright sounds for years and years, things can actually start sounding the same. So if you want to switch it up, you actually have a whole library for you guys to check out. So we also have the BPM of the song. So let's say if you have a longer video, let's say 15 minutes and one song is only like, let's say two minutes, you want to make sure that you would maintain the same tempo. So then you can also find different songs in the same BPM. So it's not going to be like a drastic, you know, tempo change. Right here, we can also sort it on content type. So we have all, we can also have stock footage or you can just have like motion backgrounds, which is just not necessarily like, you know, footage from an object or a certain place, but more like visuals. If you need to spy something up, let's say you have an audio visualizer or you want to have a little more of an extra, you know, extended intro, you can just drag in these clips. So right here, we also have details that we can also choose to select if needed, such as, for example, an alpha channel meaning that it is going to be completely transparent. So you don't have to put a black chroma key on that clip to remove the black background, which can cause a little bit more like a distorted edges on the object. So this is actually really cool that you can just drag that into your timeline. You want to right click on the clip and then change the alpha channel to straight and matte it. And then we have a really nice crystal clear background without any kind of, you know, weird stuff going on on the edges because of the chroma key. Right here, you can also choose a resolution. If you have a preferred one, you can have HD and 4K and also the frame rate, obviously. So we can have like 24 frames, 25. But if you want to have the smoothest, I would actually recommend to go for 50 or 60. So the Vegas Hub, you guys know, it's more like stock footage, stock audio. It's really, really cool. You guys know exactly how to search for certain footage by using the search bar. So let's move on to the Hub Explorer. So this one is pretty much what we downloaded so far from the Vegas Hub, if you have one. That's why this field clip is here. But then the second button right here, it says File Drop. And this pretty much means that we can also like synchronize files into one certain place onto your computer. So let's say that you're dragging in files from your downloads 
There are a couple files from your documents, a like, and then a few files from an external hard drive. It is actually pretty hard to keep everything in mind where everything is if you need to locate them. So that's why it's going to just make a backup of all the files that you have in your you know, Vegas project. It's going to save them in one place so you know that all the footage is collected into one folder. So you just want to right click on it. You want to hit create new file drop. You want to give this a name. Let's say we're going to call this vlog. So then we get prompted by this box. So right here, obviously, if you want to collect all the footage into one same folder or if you're working with someone else, you can just go and type in their email. They will get an invitation. As you can see where the button says send invitation. You can also set the time limit and the upload limit, like how much gigabyte they're allowed to upload. I would just say 10 gigabyte would actually, you know, do the job. And then once you are finished, fill in the email, fill in the name. You can also fill in a notice right here. Let's say, you know, like color grading is not needed on your clips. So the other participant knows that the footage doesn't have to be color graded. So once everything is set right here, you want to click on send invitation and then it will be straight in their email. So moving on to the last button right here, which says Vegas projects. Now they're just pretty much recent projects that you have opened. Vegas project that you have on your computer. So if you double click on that, obviously right here, all your projects will show up. It is really, really handy. And this is pretty much the Vegas Hub and the Hub Explorer in Vegas Pro 20. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below. And once again, make sure to check out Action VFX Deal. They're having 55% off the whole library. All the info is in the description down below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.